I travel quite a bit in my work with MAI, and often at the end of the flight, as the airplane is taxiing to the gate, the captain will come on the intercom and say, we hope you enjoyed your trip today. We recognize you have a choice in air travel. Thank you for choosing Madagascar Airlines, or whatever the airline might be that I'm flying on that day. And in a similar vein, uh, I just want to really thank you for your gifts and prayers for MAI Training Ministry. Uh, we do know that you have a choice uh, from many worthy causes in Christian work around the world. And we're so grateful that you have chosen MAI. You know, I will never get tired of saying thank you for your support of MAI Training Ministry. And our work may not be, it may not have quite the sense of urgency as certain other types of work, hurricane relief, uh, drought, famine relief, um, as important as those things are. And you, know, you can't always see the immediate results of our work, say for instance in construction of a building, something like that. But our work is uniquely strategic. I think you know that because you support MAI. Every book that's published as a result of MAI training of publishers and writers has the potential to transform somebody's life for Christ and to nurture the church and to impact the society and the country and the place that we're working. MAI is the only international ministry that works solely in the training and equipping of Christian publishers, writers, and editors in the hard places of the world. And we have the unique privilege of partnering with some very courageous men and women who are on the front lines of Christian publishing and writing. You know, sometimes I compare the work of MAI to what Jesus says about the mustard seed. He said, the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and planted in his field. Though it's the smallest of all seeds, yet when it grows, it's the largest of garden plants and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air come and perch in its branches. MAI is helping to plant the seed of the gospel in countries such as South Sudan, Kyrgyzstan, Benin, Mexico, Southeast Asia. Pray with us that that seed does grow into a big tree for the advance of the gospel. Thank you so much.